In this example, we are going to learn how to calculate a ternary isopleth section. The phase relationship of ternary systems is complicated in 3D space. To simplify it, we often cut the 3D space along a certain direction to view the phase relationship in a 2D section. In another video, we introduce the isothermal section, which cuts the 3D diagram at a constant temperature. In this video, we will introduce the second type of section, the isopleth section. In this section, temperature is one variable, and the composition is the other variable. As an example, we choose the section from pure A to the middle point of the BC binary, with the composition of 50% B and 50% C. To start, create a new workspace. Select Pan Phase Diagram Module. Create it. Then Load Database. Click this Load Database icon. Or go to Database Menu. Load Database. Select the Aluminum Magnesium Zinc TDB file. And open it. We want to calculate a ternary phase diagram. Click this button to select all three elements. Click OK. Now let's start the calculation. Click Pan Phase Diagram on the menu bar and select Section Calculation. Or click the Section Calculation icon on the toolbar. Then this window will pop up. For any Section Phase Diagram calculation, we need to set up three points. The original point, the X point, and the Y point. For this isoplethal section, the original point is pure magnesium, as 100%. And the temperature is 0 degrees C. The Y point has the same composition. We click this arrow button to copy the setting for the original point to the Y point. Then we set the temperature as 1000 degrees C. For the X point, the composition is 50% aluminum and 50% zinc. The temperature is 0 degrees C. This setting allows us to calculate an isopleth from pure magnesium to the point with 50% aluminum and 50% zinc from 0 degrees C to 1000 degrees C. After setting the conditions and check the units, click OK to start calculation. This is the calculated isopleth from pure magnesium to aluminum 50 zinc 50. Now, we can label the phase regions. Click the Label button on the toolbar, or go Graph, and select Label. Then put the cursor on the phase region and click. These phase regions are labeled. We can also double-click the labels to edit them. You have two ways to see part of the diagram for detail. One way is using the zoom function. Click the zoom icon. Select the region you are interested in. Double click the zoom icon. It will go back to the full scale again. The second way is changing the scale from the property window. For example, we change the x-axis maximum value to 30%. The phase diagram is shown only up to 30% aluminum now. We can also make other changes from this property window for the appearance of the diagram. For example, change y increment to 100. Show grids. We can also add a name or text on this phase diagram. Using this text icon, type the name. Change the font to 32. Then the name of the diagram is added. Add magnesium on the left corner. and aluminum 50 zinc 50 on the right corner.
From this video, you learn how to calculate an isoplethal section. Label the phase regions. Add text on the diagram. Zoom and rescale the phase diagram. Add grid lines on the diagram. That's all for this video. If you want to learn more about Pandit software, please visit our website or our YouTube channel.